for you as well? Uh, I'm not sure. Okay, and does he have red eyes as well? Mm, I don't think so. Okay, thank you so much for any, answering my questions. So does Carl have any other medical conditions that you might be aware of than this? No. Okay. And are, uh, is he up, I'm just going to ask you a few more questions regarding him and his overall health. How has his health been generally throughout? Uh, it, it is fine, doctor. He's a very active boy and everything is fine with him except this. Okay, that's really good. I'm glad he was active before. And can you please tell me how his birth was? Was there any complications? No, no, no. Okay, and has he been up to date with all his jabs? Yeah. And did he have any recent jabs? Uh, no. Okay, and uh, are you happy with his red book? Yes. Okay, and is he feeding okay? Like yeah. he's eating? He's eating well. And is, is there any problem in his wee or poo? No. Okay, that's really good. And is he any, taking any medications daily? No, doctor. And is he allergic to anything? No. Okay. And do you have any other children besides Carl? No. Okay. Is anyone else in the family that's having any sort of these type of symptoms? No, doctor. It's only me and him who are in the house right now. Okay, and uh, who takes care of Carl on a daily basis? Me. Okay, and how are you managing at home? Yeah, doctor, it's, I'm a homemaker, so it's okay mm -hmm. for me. Okay, and are you getting by okay? Sorry? Are you getting by okay, Tanya? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to check Carl from head to toe. I'm also going to take his vitals, and I'm also going to uh, send in some routine blood tests, including his full blood count and CRP, okay? Okay, doctor. So I actually took a picture of his uh, rash. You can have a look here. Okay, thank you, Tanya, for letting me know about the rash. I see it. All right, so do you have any idea, Tanya, of what this could be? No, doctor. Okay, so he most likely suffering from what we call chicken pox. Ah, I see. Yeah, so that's why he's been really itchy these days, okay? Oh, I see. So what you are going to do for him now, doctor? Okay, so I can see you're quite concerned and I'm going to help you see what we can do about him. So first, this chicken pox is usually a common condition in childhood. And we don't really do anything. We use a wait and watch technique. These usually start disappearing on its own. So you told me that it's been two days, but probably by day five, as in the day five he's feeling all this, they'll start crusting and start disappearing and you'll start feeling better, okay? Okay, doctor, but are you going to give him any antibiotic? Okay, so this is actually passed through a virus and it, uh, when in, there's a viral infection, antibiotics don't really work because they only work on bacteria like bugs. And this is a virus like bug. So an, an antibiotic would actually make him feel worse and not actually do much in his case. So I wouldn't be prescribing antibiotics, but what I would prescribe is some antihistamines if the itching gets way too bad and if he's not able to manage, okay? Okay. Okay. I um I can also Tanya. advise you some things you can do. Oh, time's up. I didn't hear the two. Well, really? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm okay. sorry. I couldn't. It's okay. It's it's not your fault. Okay. So yeah, it was a very very good attempt, Doctor Aisha. So your history taking. When is your exam, by the way? Twenty first May. Okay, yeah, you have time still, but uh, it was really good. You, your structure was good. You explored all the DDs here, the important, you know, the red flags, you ruled them out. And then you explored itching. After that, I gave you another symptom that was rash. So you, ex uh, spots basically, so you explored them. But few things that you have missed, and I would like to uh, mention those things. Uh, if we, I talk about your general, uh, you know, uh, station, then Aisha, everything was good. 
few things that were important and you have missed here. Number one, uh, is the child going to nursery or school right now? Because you need okay. to advise in all the infectious cases, in all of them, in this chicken pox, measles, scabies, um, say meningitis, in all of them, uh, you should be, you know, giving advice regarding that. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. So uh, include that question as well. And when you. you are exploring, I I don't know. You were not asking me. Uh, I, I uh, except that social history part. I think only one question was okay. Who is looking after the baby? That's okay. And before that, I told you only me and him are in the house. Okay. So it's okay. Just don't explore more about it and start your management as early as possible. Because it would be great okay. if you are having three minutes for your management. All right. Okay. Because you started your management at six minutes and you were not having enough time to, you know, address my concerns and give your proper management plan. Okay. okay. And uh, that was really good that you reassured me. And immediately after reassuring and, you know, you addressed my concern. And uh, after that, you should be giving me some general tips to tackle this measles or chicken pox, whatever the station is. Okay. We know okay. that it is not a definitive treatment for that, but still some yeah. general advices and some general tips you will be sharing with the mother. Uh, in yeah. the meantime, she can do these things and uh, also mention safety netting points. Yes. Okay. These should not be missed in your management. Yes. I'm having a lot of trouble with um, time. <laughs> yeah. Well, time. your IPS is really good, Dr. Aisha. Um that was like, you know, your positive point. But in the management, when you were talking to me about, like I asked you, uh, can you give me antibiotic? You should, you should give me a very, you know, short answer for that. No need to give the detail. Just said, you said one thing, um, it's a viral infection. So it is caused by a bug called virus. So antibiotics will not work against it. But there are many other tips that you can try in the meantime and cover your management. Okay. Instead of explaining okay. the same point in a long, you know, uh, uh, instead of spending time on the same point for a very long time, it's better to cover the rest, th rest of the things of the management. Okay. All right. Yes. In the data gathering part, uh, I'm not sure because I, apart from that social history thing, there was nothing extra that you can omit. Everything was important. Just, it, it, you can, you know, try to be a little bit faster when you are talking, maybe. Okay. Otherwise, your pace was also fine here. I don't know what, how to manage time. I, seriously, I know the like general tips, like cut his nails and don't let him go to nursery. I was going to say all this. I just didn't have time. <laughs> mm. Yes. So, um, because I, all these questions are important, okay? You cannot, you cannot, you know, skip them. I told you about itching, so you you explored that. Then you asked to me, you then you asked me to explain the spots or rash. And then the, another thing is was important that was this PID, P is for pain, I is for itching. You did that, but discharge or bleeding, because discharge and bleeding are the signs of infection. Okay, so for yeah. important bacterial infection. So if it is there, then we need to give antibiotic. So it would be great yeah. if you can ask these two questions as, as well. Okay. Pain and basically this PID is important for your safety netting as well. When you are doing safety netting, I have uh, written that as well. So this PID will be, will be your safety netting in skin station. Okay. All right, because it is showing infection, yeah. superimposed infection. Yes. Okay. Okay. So after that, um, you ruled out red flag. You asked me all the important question, uh, just like this, if the child, uh, child is being drowsy or not. Yes. You can include okay. that one as well. Okay. And uh, general health is fine. If you are asking me how has his, uh, his health been recently, it is fine. Then ask you question about bird and okay. Uh, then it's okay. And then similar symptoms in family, you asked me, 
and then that this thing was missing whether he is going to school nursery or college or not according yeah. to the age he will be asking the appropriate question this was missing okay if you have if you don't remember like if you have forgotten it in the data gathering part in the management you can again ask it when you are mentioning yeah. about staying away from nursery or school by the way is he going yeah. to any nursery or school please keep him away from uh, nursery for next 5 days because today was the first day of the rash yes okay okay so yes i want to do a comparison here about measles and chicken pox because these are two similar viral conditions and that can be coming in the exam so uh, although your data gathering was very good you asked you asked about both of these so basically if we are talking about both of these condition in term of rash then the distribution of rash will be different in measles the rash is starting from face normally it is starting from forehead and then it is spreading throughout the body but in chicken pox it is starting from the uh, tummy back maybe neck but uh, spots will be there on face as well but these are not much concentrated there and other important difference in term of rash is that measles rash will be flat chicken pox rash will be raised yes it's uh, it will turn into blisters as well so it was a first day but uh, if it is you know on third day or fourth day then different kinds of you know spots will be there all of them they are not uh, of same size and uh, at same stage in yes. measles what are the predominant symptoms fever flu like symptoms red eye coplic spots etc these things will be there along with rash but in chicken pox high fever generally feeling unwell aches and pain will be there loss of appetite will be there management in term of general tips and reassurance will be same okay uh, for itching i mentioned about itching uh, dr aisha you can talk to me about cooling creams for that creams okay. and lotion soothing creams and lotion for that okay yes and then next okay. part of the management was staying away from nursery and then staying away from uh, infants pregnant people or elderly in the meantime and also cover the safety netting mm -hmm. if it is measles then you will talk about eye symptoms because in measles eye symptoms are there as well so you can you know talk about cleaning away the crustiness from your child's eyelid similarly if patient is giving you few symptoms then you can give some general few advices like steam inhalation hot drinks lemon and honey these kind of things complications will be different in both of them chicken pox most probably in the safety netting you are covering infection dehydration and if there is no improvement or worsening sign and symptom in measles it can progress and it can lead to chest infection and encephalitis so in safety netting cover uh, some of the symptoms of these as well shortness of breath any coughing with uh, cough with sputum for encephalitis you can talk about being drowsy okay yes and in this way you will be covering these two station your uh, overall station was good aisha uh, just a little bit time management you need to work on and yeah. then you will be fine i need to work on time Your All right. Thank is really you so much, Doctor Kaur. You are welcome. Thank you. And uh, now I will be. Uh, any question, Aisha? No, no. Thank you. I understand. Thank you. Okay. Good luck. Uh, I thank am you. now reading the chat. Okay. Sorry, I forgot to record in the beginning, but then I was recording it. um yes uh, we will avoid the school in measles too for chicken pox it is 5 days in measles it will be 4 days okay you will advise about that and uh, one uh, another thing that the another concern that patient might be having is that can he send his child back to school or nursery or not and so, sometime the mother can ask you about sick note as well for her because she needs to stay with the child and child is infectious and he, she cannot send him to nursery or school so she is asking you for the 
a medical certificate so if it is the case then you can you know first ask her to talk to the employee first and uh, if he, if she cannot then you can pro, you can write down the sick note but if the child is fine now child is not infectious but mother still wants medical certificate and uh, then you will try to negotiate with her if there is anyone else who can look after the child and try to explore why she is not sending the child to the nursery and also explore mother's symptoms as well is she fine or not if uh, she had chicken pox before or not so depending on these things if you are not convinced to give medical certificate then you will politely refuse like you have refused um, changing notes in a, another station that in in which the uh, lady was coming she had an ankle sprain and she wanted you to change the note so you refused her so in the same way you will politely refuse her if you are not convinced with her explanation all right okay so if you are summarizing the difference between measles and chicken pox you can see this picture so this is a very good picture if you are seeing here rashes are more concentrated on the you know trunk here in chicken pox and if you are looking at the type of rash then in chicken pox the rash is raised and pinkish and sometime it will be filled with some fluid as well but in measles the rash will be flat and if you ask about the color of the rash then it will be pinkish to brownish in color flu like symptoms will be there uh, i red eye will be there similarly patient can complain of uh, fever fever will be there in both of them and in measles there will be no blister formation but in chicken pox they can turn into blisters as well and patient is infectious in chicken pox and the lesions are crusted over within you know it will be uh, till five, fifth day of the appearance of rash in measles the child is infectious after fourth day of the rash so after fourth day they can go to school or nursery and uh, advise them about staying away from immunocompromised pregnant people in friends elderly as well so i think dr navreet is not here uh, who was next on the list uh dr karen i think she has left are you there Doctor Ola, Doctor Mehreen, or Doctor Saad. Doctor Saad, your time has started. Okay. Hello, I'm Saad, one of the general doctors here in the GP clinic. Uh, may I confirm your full name and age, please? 
Doctor, my name is Peter Henry and I'm 30 years old. Mm -hmm. Hello and thank you for coming to see me. So how can I help you today? Well, doctor, I'm really worried about my father. Why he has been shifted to another ward? Mm -hmm. uh, first of all, uh, it is great to have a chat with you about your father's um, health in order to establish better and things in a better way. Okay. Um, could you tell me um, how do you know about your dad's uh, health? Yeah, doctor. He was admitted for chest infection, but now he developed diarrhea and you people have shifted him to another ward. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm, you're right. Uh, he was um, admitted for pneumonia. And actually, uh, now he was um, referred to another uh, ward. Um, do you know um, if he's having insurance for this right now? No, doctor. He was actually doing In, uh, okay. He was... No, doctor. Yeah. Uh, any other symptoms? Do you know about him? No. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, did me explain to you what happened? Actually, um, we have started treatment uh, of your uh, father for pneumonia uh, with some antibiotics. However, he developed um, some diarrhea later on two days ago. Uh, that's why we shifted him to uh, another uh, world. Are you following me? Yeah, doctor, but he was doing okay and he was going to be discharged. Why he developed the diary all of a sudden? Yes, definitely. He's going on about his uh, pneumonia. But um, he's still having some diarrhea. Uh, I think it could be due to uh, the antibiotic treatment he had. Uh, as we have done uh, already as well, and confirmed the presence of some yeah, bacteria that cause pneumonia. That's what, why he should be uh, admitted in uh, another world balloon. Okay, doctor, uh, he, he get that from the hospital. Uh, let me assure you that um, it's not necessarily due to um, hospital stay, however, uh, as you know, uh, we have some uh, bacteria that's present in our uh, uh, food pipe. Uh, but uh, while we are having antibiotic, antibiotic may kill this uh, bacteria. Uh, that's why um, he may develop another type of bacteria and develop diarrhea. Am I clear so far? So that, does that mean that you gave him the wrong antibiotic? Uh, definitely no, as uh, you know, he is improving and his condition is well right now. Uh, he was given the uh, right antibiotic. However, it's a very common side effect of such uh, antibiotics um, to develop diarrhea. I know that you're concerned about his health and you are very caring, but let me assure you that he is in his hand right now. We are caring about him. Um, we are giving him some. Uh, fluids in order to um, compensate for his uh, fluid loss in his body. We are caring about him. We are monitoring his vital signs also. How, how does that sound? But doctor, you told me that he got it from the antibiotic that you gave him. Then why you are keeping him in the other ward with the people who are having food poisoning? Mm -hmm. Actually, uh, such condition uh, maybe uh, transfer to another patient. That's why he need, uh, need the isolation right now. But please be um, assured we are keeping him under our eye. We are we also observing him as all the time. And uh, as I told you, it's a very common condition. But he will treat it well. Doctor, are you sure that this is because of antibiotic or it, can it be COVID? Uh, no, as we we have done already a swab and um, showing some uh, bacterial growth in his stool, uh, so we have reached our different diagnosis right now. Um, but could you tell me um, why why are you concerned about COVID? I don't know, doctor, because you know there is diarrhea and COVID, and uh, he's already in the hospital. Maybe he have he would have gotten it from someone in the hospital. And that's why you people have put him in another separate ward. 
okay, let me assure you that um, we have done our swab and it definitely uh, confirmed our diagnosis. Uh, however, uh, by any chance, uh, um, has he been in contact with any uh, relative or any uh, someone do you know who has a symptom of COVID? Of COVID? No, doctor. Okay, that's great. And please, uh, also regarding uh, COVID, uh, please reassure that we are observing all our patients. Uh, whenever, whenever we found any patient having any symptoms of suspicious of COVID, we um, do our investigation and uh, isolate him immediately. How does that sound? Okay, that's fine, doctor. So, uh, how are you going to treat him? Okay. First of all, as we've done, we have isolated uh, him right now in a single um, room. Um, we are going to observe him, his vital signs in order to be sure that everything gets okay. We are giving him uh, on fluids through his blood uh, vessels. And also we'll be shifting uh, to another um, antibiotic, which is called the metronidazole, to be given through his veins. Am I clear so far? No, no. No, 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 doctor, please don't give him another antibiotic. See what, what the first one has caused him. Mm -hmm. uh, let me assure you again that it's really another antibiotic which uh, is given to treat uh, such condition of diarrhea and it wasn't caused with diarrhea again. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, Sorry. doctor, that he developed diarrhea as a side effect. And what if he develops some other side effect because of this antibiotic now? Uh, we will be uh, keeping an eye about him. We'll give him uh, a fluid. It, uh, it will be going to um, pass away without any complication. Uh, please uh, be assured that he is in safe hands. Uh -huh. Doctor, you know my son is missing his grandfather a lot. How, when we can visit him? Sorry? Uh, doctor, my uh, my son is um, seeing his grandfather a lot. When we can visit him? Mm -hmm. uh, that's a very good question. Thank you for that. Uh, as you know, it would be transmitted to any other uh, one. So please uh, be assured, um, ensure uh, having your uh, protective uh, equipment, such as gloves and masks. Uh, can you do that? Okay, doctor. We can and do that. So try can to, we meet try him? to avoid contact as much as possible. Okay. okay. Do you have another concern? No, doctor. You are quite fine. You are still having 20 seconds, doctor. Okay, Annie, uh, we have to start a new meeting and then you can share your feedback, okay? Okay.